And boom, we're live. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Podcast. Today, we have a book. It's called, it's titled, The Code Breaker. Jennifer Dowda, I'll put it up here. Jennifer Dowda, Gene Editing, and the Future of the Human Race. So this is a biography written by Walter Isaacson. He's the author of Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci and Steve Jobs. I actually think I bought one of his books, the Leonardo da Vinci one, for my mom. So it's written well. It is a biography, though. So if you want to know more about CRISPR, CRISPR is, if you don't know what CRISPR is, it's the bee's knees. It's a gene editing sequence that they found through bacteria. Bacteria have been fighting viruses for a very long time, microphages, I believe. And so they found viral code inside by bacteria. And they're like, what is this? And there's these little itty bitty repeated patterns. And they're like, oh, so this is almost like an immune response to this bacteria. Well, they found how the bacteria create it, which is CRISPR-Cas9, and it's a tool. So then they can change the inside of the tool in order to change the DNA sequences. And the DNA is just the ingredients of people. So they think, if you're wanting more of the thought-provoking um, aspect of it and the immorality or mor morality of it and the discussions of the future of it, then I actually read her book, Crack in Creation. So Jennifer Dowda wrote A Crack in Creation, which is right here. And if you're listening, it's just on the video. It's just Google A Crack in Creation. Jennifer Dowd Doudna. And so Dowda, Doud, I don't know how to pronounce it. Good job, Jennifer, though. Um, so this is about, she, it's about her upbringing, um, what influenced her, Watson Crick, which is, who, who wrote the double helix, which is uh, figuring out that there's two sequences of DNA in a helix band twisting. So she wrote, a, so that is referenced in here a lot. That was just a big, impactful thing. And it shows the relationships of her and how she came about to win the Nobel Prize last year. So this is a huge deal, I believe. And so there are thought-provoking things of designer babies and if you know that there's a DNA sequence that they can see before the child is born and they can uh, switch it out and your child won't be deaf anymore, there is that provoking a little bit in here. There's thought provoking ideas in here, but um, it's mostly just around Jennifer and how she came about. And there's a lot in the back towards the back of the book about um, the missteps of the FDA and the CDC. And she was trying to figure out how she could use her new discovery, a, uh, sequence that defeats viruses for the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So that was also in here, which was very interesting as well. And so if you want to know more about CRISPR-Cas9, I would say a crack in creation is just going to go into it a lot uh, deeper. I'll pull it up one more time. Crack in creation. And then this one is more about Jennifer Dowda herself. And um, yeah, it was a good book and it's towards the back. It's, it became a lot more interesting. So the very first, the first nine chapters, you don't hear about CRISPR at all. It's just Jennifer. And I understand that. Like you want to, it's crazy that she has been put up. It might be a data point that Walter Isaacson had put her up against Leonardo da Vinci and uh, Steve Jobs, if it's that impactful, which it could be. Um, if you can beat blindness and deafness in children, why wouldn't you? You know, there is that morality question, but then you're playing God, they say. But I don't know if you're playing God because we play God all the time. You know, drone strikes. Is that playing God? I think it depends on which testament you're using. So it's just, it's a cool book and it's very thought provoking. I, re I really do think this will be the future within just health, um, health and prolonging people's lifespans and health spans, health span versus lifespan. You can keep people alive for a really long time. It just depends on if they have debilitating health where they can't move. It's not really a healthy lifespan. So health, health span, lifespan. So it's a cool book. Uh, the Code Breaker, it is available now. It's one of the New York Times bestsellers, number one New York Times bestseller. So check it out. If you like, let me know if you want to know any more questions. Um, yeah, and let me know if you find this interesting or not. So don't forget to subscribe. A lot of good stuff to come. That was Code Breaker. It was written well, very interesting. Um, if you want more thought-provoking things, go to the Crack and Creation, written by Jennifer herself and Steve, or no, Samuel Steinberg. And uh, so, yeah, thank you so much. Until next time, Matthew Benjamin with the American Movie Podcast. That was the code breaker. Until next time, bye-bye-bye, bye-bye-bye, bye-bye-bye.